And September is Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. And in today's Medical Moment, sponsored by Spectrum Health, we're going to get some help on what to look for and what to do if someone in our world may be considering suicide. Magda Van Wiegen from Priority Health joins us now with, with more. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. So what is the stigma surrounding mental health? So one of the things that I think is important to point out um, with mental health is that um, it's really important to be able to identify uh, suicide if somebody's actively having suicidal thoughts. But one of the main issues that we really face right now is the fact that people aren't getting mental health treatment before suicide becomes an issue. Suicide really happens when people get hopeless and they don't see a way out of their situation or problems. And so we still see some of that old stigma where, um, you know, I it, people sometimes think that it's their fault or it's a character flaw. And so they don't want to seek treatment. They want to, um, you know, they think that it, there's something wrong with them personally. They're embarrassed about it. I can't tell you how many people I talk with who feel bad just because they're experiencing depression yeah. when it really is yeah. just a disease um, that they need to get help for. Yeah, that's all very good points. And uh, hey, full disclosure, therapy right here. So I mean, <laughs> don't be, don't be. Uh, oh, good for don't, you. Yeah, don't don't be you. shy about it. This is your mental health. You mm -hmm. need somebody to talk to, to work through some things. Exactly. That's why they're there. So what about the warning signs for those at risk of suicide? What, what should we be looking for uh, to help save a life? Gotcha. So if you, um, warning signs really are um, kind of coincide with symptoms of, of depression or anxiety. But if you see people that are talking about it or saying that they would be better off dead or others would be better off without them or they're isolating, um, uh, sometimes they give their personal items away. Um, some start using drugs or you just see uh, overall functional decline. Like people aren't, they're not taking showers. They're, everything is very difficult for them to do. Those are some of the things that you want to look for. Okay. And then what are some of those risk factors out there for suicide ideation? Well, risk factors are um, obviously a history of mental illness, either um, if someone has experienced an episode of depression themselves, or if they have family members who have been diagnosed with depression in the past, um, a lot of mental health um, issues are really hereditary to their, their biological in nature. So if you have a family member who, who has been experiencing any mental health symptoms, you probably will too, or you, you may not, but it, it's more likely, it's kind of like high blood pressure mm -hmm. kinds of things. So um, family violence, some of those more situational situations, um, people who are released from jail are um, at higher risk of uh, completing suicide once they're released. Um, and if you have access to legal, uh, or excuse me, lethal um, means like a gun or lots of medications. Okay. Well, I think we could all lend a hand here. We know what to look for. We know what the warning signs are, what the history might be. What about resources? How, who can help and how can they help? Where, where are the resources available? So one of the things that I always want to point out is that there's lots of helplines available. Mm -hmm. um, there's the suicide prevention um, national hotline. Um, if you, um, a lot of insurance companies, like for example, Priority Health, we we do have a prior, we have a behavioral health department. We have an eight, uh, 24 hour crisis line number. Um, so even you can reach out to your doctor's offices. A lot of doctor's offices have that information and can assist as well. Thank you All so right. much. I appreciate that. Definitely want to make sure we remove the stigma of taking care of your mental health. That again, suicide warning signs. If they're talking, if you know someone talking about dying or wanting to die, talking about feeling empty or hopeless, these are things, the social withdrawal, these are all things that you may see. And if you do see, you can reach out and get someone the help they need. Local resources, we saw those numbers up there for you, the 1-800-273-TALK is that suicide prevention hotline. So Thank you so much for your time this morning. Very important information. We'll make sure to put this on our website a little later today.